Dr. Cox, I'm not crazy. Am I still singing? Singing like a bird. Dr. Cox, huge news. I pulled some strings and got the parking spot right behind yours. Bumper buddies. Still, you're not nearly as bad as her. Do you know how much you annoy me? The answer is a lot. Should I list the reasons why? Well, I don't see why not. It's your hair, your nose, your chin, face. You always need a hug. Not to mention all the manly apple teenies that you chug. That you think I am your mentor just continues to perplex. And oh my God, stop telling me when you have nerdy sex. Übrigens, als Kim das letzte Mal da war, hat sie mir mit ein paar apple teenies meine drei Brusthaare eingeschmiert. See now, newbie, that's the thing you do that drives me up a tree. Cause no matter how I rant it, you, you never let me be. So I'm stuck with all your daydreaming, your wish to be my son. It makes me suicidal and I'm not the only one. No, I'm not the only one. It all started with a penny in the door There was a hatred I had never felt before So now I'll make him pay Each and every day Until that moose-haired little nuisance is No So now that is why I call you names like Carol, Jane, and Sue, like Moesha, Kim, and Lily, and Suzanne, and Betty Lou. See, regardless of the names I pick, my feelings are quite clear. You're a pain in every day of every month of every year. Dr. Cox, you gotta help me, cause I really am distressed. Can't you find another option? Won't you run another test? If you want some kind of favor, really any kind of favor, please just get me peace and quiet from this godforsaken past. Ich glaube, mein Stoßstangenkumpel will damit sagen... Shut your cake hole, Mary Beth! Or I swear to God, I'll shut it soon! Congratulations. We'll schedule your test this afternoon. Oh. 